I'm Joan. Who are you? My name is Jax. That's an interesting name. Jax, like the, like the game that you play as a kid. Yep, exactly. Whitney, are you an artist? Would you like to talk and do a portfolio review? I, I'm not an artist, but I wish I was. Okay. Nice Sue. to meet you, Sue. That's a lovely name. Thank you. I have a sister named Sue. Michal? Yeah. Michal. Am I saying it right? No. Dave Mondini. So it's more like... Oh, this is the arts project. I saw that play there. Yes, my... Really good to see you. I thank you. My, my, my friends call me Demo, but you're welcome to call me Mr. Demo. Moore. Demo. So the show is going to be um, what demarcates DC artists. I should have come more prepared. It's like with this digital stuff, I forgot. Well, that's okay. This is very free form, isn't it? Oh, is this a self-portrait? That face looks a little bit like you. No, maybe an expression I have sometimes, but not like me in particular, no. Have you uh, been to any noise performances? Noise performances. I've been to things that were noisy. Are there any pieces here that you think specifically represent the experience of being an artist in DC? These You're saying, but these buildings are from Washington, DC? Yeah, this is a print. Well, I think you might be perfect for my show. Oh, really? Yes. That's exciting. This is all about global warming. Okay, very interesting. And these people are wearing... They're like wearing a... amplification devices. We were in front of the Trump Hotel, uh -huh. okay, and we projected the sounds of icebergs melting. So I'm curating a show about Washington, D.C. based artists. Yes. Are you interested in showing me some of your work? <sighs> no, not at this moment, though. Yes, my work, such as these, had always been, in a way, subtly political. But because I grew up in the suburbs in Texas... Oh, you're from Texas? Yes, it had always felt so distant to me. I had always thought if I was only closer, I would do more. It comes with traditional baby quotes, what is wrong with this picture? You know, where do you hide concealed carry? I was using ombre hair dye. Have you ever seen hair dye? Ombre. That's where the hair goes dark and light. It's very trendy. Yes, I know about that. Well, this is really lovely. Is this a photograph you took? Yeah. Impressionistic. That's the quartz. Quartz? Yeah, you know, like, you have the... The area next to the Senate where you have all the courts, the Washington courts. So I went there and I just courts like where judges go. What kind of show are you curating? Well, it's going to be a variety of mediums. We'll have paintings, drawings, sculpture, maybe even some performance art. Or... Will you have any mediums? Mediums. Will I have mediums? Oh, yeah, mediums. Like ghosts? Yes. Will I? Oh my. Well, this one's provocative. It, it's called, We Have Been Subordinated to Our Limitations Until Now. Inevitably, I'm going to die. You know, I'm not an artist myself, but I understand you because I've also noticed the beauty and things decaying myself. Okay. Yes, I, I love to garden and, you know, I, I, in fact, I love when, when the flowers die and go to seed. Sometimes the seeds are just so beautiful. Well, I, I think this is kind of an interesting piece. I, so how do you go about selling work like this? I could even see that as a photograph. Ooh. Well, maybe someone would want to paint it or something. Why don't you stay in touch? Send me an email. That'd be great. A pleasure to meet you too. Thanks for all the great work that you do in our
Sweetie, good luck and definitely send me info on the email. Okay. I will, okay. Well, that's very pretty. I love the, the iridescent so. pinks in there. Thank you. It's quite lovely. Well, I'm not going to try to say your name again, but I, I, re I thank you for spending the time with me. And we'll be in touch, okay? I very much like your work. Very and nice to meet you. I'm so thrilled to meet you. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Thank you.